Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the June 2016 Marvel Collector Core exclusive Funko Pop of Squirrel Girl. I think this Squirrel Girl Pop has a really great design. Like, I like the pose she's in with like, her arms on her hips. I like the tail supports the figure, because, you know, if you had that weight of the tail in the back and it wasn't connecting on the ground, it would tip over, but now, you know, kind of, you have the presence of the tail and it, you know, gets to help the figure stand. I think this looks really, really cool. Now, let's go in for a closer look, and you just see, like, the details of her outfit, um, all the different uses of paint, like, as far as, like, the dark brown for a jacket and the light brown for her, like, one-piece, like, bodice, if you will, the yellow paint. Uh, separates well from the brown. The the lining of like her little one piece outfit, the tops and bottoms looks, looks good along the boots as well. But yeah, like the gray, the, the skin paint, all the separation between that and the boots is all really really clean. I mean, it gets a little wonky at the fur at the collar, and that's about it. Nah, that's not even that bad. Um, this line though really bothers me. She's got this you know big bushy squirrel tail, and uh, I know they have to you know assemble it on a certain way. But that that seam, that big assembly connection piece there, that line really does kind of ruin the sculpt for me, or at least distract from the sculpt, but I do like the little lines carved in there to, to simulate the hair of her uh, tail, uh, but man, yeah, the actual pose that she's in is so cool, I just dig the uh, the hands on the hips, I like the fists, I like just like the details, the little lining, the little grooved lines along the edges of the little furry bits of her costume, look really good, and then uh, her head looks good too, like I think they did a pretty good job with the hairstyle, um, although on the packaging, they have like her hair more flared out towards the back, and here it's much shorter and tighter to the, the head. And I like when, you know, the pops are reflective of the artwork on the packaging, and this, well, isn't. But I still dig this short hairstyle along the, uh, the back there. Uh, man, the earrings look freaking awesome, and they did a great job painting those acorns. I think they look great. Uh, also, just like the hairline and the headband, the paint on them is really good and follows the sculpt well doesn't bleed onto anything, so I think that looks great. And the little ears on the, you know, look good as well. Eyeball paint, eyelashes, eyebrows, all look good. Uh, another thing that looks good is you get a little tippy toe here. And I think this is great. It's a good little sculpt. I like the little hands kind of in the front. I like the bushy little tail. There's a little, you know, head articulation there. And you got the little bow, which uh, has a good little sculpt to it. And the paint is really clean on this. And like the eyeball paint, the mouth paint area, it all looks really good. And yeah, it looks cute. So there you go. This is a really cool pop. If you uh, ordered this from the Marvel Collector Corps and you're a fan of Squirrel Girl, I can't imagine fans being disappointed by this because this is a great pop of a pretty rad character. So thanks for watching and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all of that stuff.